in some instances we refer to color change in equilibrium reactions as another way of evaluating how Le Chatelier's principle works. And essentially what you are given is a fairly complicated equation, but to simplify it you are told that the reagents, or in this case the reactants on this side, have a bluish color, the products on this side have a greenish color. And we know and we are told that this reaction is at equilibrium. We can see that in this case the forward reaction is endothermic, which obviously then implies that our reverse reaction is exothermic. And then instead of being asked about how Kc is affected or which reaction is favored, you can now be asked what color the reaction becomes when certain changes are made. So in this example over here, the first question would say what would happen if the temperature of this reaction were to be decreased. So now we know Le Chatelier's principle says that we are going to try to counter the change that has been made. So the temperature here has been decreased, which means this reaction is going to favor the direction that increases the temperature. That means we are favoring the exothermic reaction, which in this case is also our reverse reaction. And we can see clearly that the reverse reaction uses up green to produce blue. So we can say that the color change when decreasing the temperature is that this reaction becomes more blue because it uses up green to produce blue. The next change asks what would happen if hydrochloric acid, HCl, were added to this mixture. And what we need to remember is that ionic compounds ionize in water, which means that this would break apart into hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. So what this question is actually saying is that by adding HCl, we are increasing the concentration of chlorine. By increasing the concentration of chlorine, we are increasing our reactants. And Le Chatelier's principle says that we're going to try to undo that by favoring the opposite, favoring the direction that reduces the amount of reaction, reactants, which means we favor the forward direction, which produces more green components, which means that by favoring the forward reaction, we are producing a more green solution. The third change asks what were to happen, what would happen if we added more water to this reaction. We can clearly see that we have water present in our products. The Chatelier's principle says we are going to try to counter that by favoring the opposite direction, which in this case is our reverse reaction, because the reverse reaction uses up water and in so doing it decreases the amount of green and increases the amount of blue in this solution. And finally, the question asks what happens if we add hydrogen sodium chloride, sorry, sodium chloride to this reaction. Once again, we know that sodium chloride is an ionic compound which would dissolve into sodium and chlorine. So once again, we are increasing the chlorine ion concentration. And Le Chatelier's principle says we favor the direction that undoes that. In, that case, this, in this case, that is the forward direction, which uses up green, so it uses up blue components and produces green components. So color change is just another way of testing Le Chatelier's principle. They are essentially asking you to say, if we are favoring the forward reaction, we are producing more green, so the reactant or the reaction solution becomes more green. If we favor the reverse reaction, the reaction becomes more blue, 